It's always a pleasure and always a delight to engage in evenings or afternoons when we can laud the efforts of and, and point to the accomplishments of the brothers who go about doing what we like to think we do as Masons. Making oneself better through uh, daily activities of uh, introspective work and uh, all that while also making the communities around them better by positive support. I think you've heard this evening that, uh, that Brother Glenn has a wide and varied range of eclectic interests and study. And he is also a brother of passion. And uh, a passion without action uh, is missing in the key component. And uh, Brother Glenn certainly has that uh, when he uh, finds a cause, a project that he wants to get behind, as Brother John said, he's behind it uh, much more than 110%. In a day and age where so many people, because of the fast-paced world we live in, see or hear of a laudable cause, a wonderful cause, and say, I'm sure someone else is going to lend a hand, but it's, it's not for me, I've got so much going on. Mm -hmm. He is not that guy. And in a day and age when, when uh, some people say, well, many causes aren't worthy of a champion. They just aren't. Well, he's that champion. He's willing to take up the mantle of responsibility and those things that he's been able to uh, accomplish in concert with uh, so many of these uh, wonderful groups, the Simon, this Give, and the uh, Feed the Starving Children, and the, uh, the efforts in schools, uh, I assure you that they're felt and, uh, and that uh, those individuals that are touched uh, know not only that he is a wonderfully generous man, but he's also very willing to translate his efforts uh, into a, a positive PR, if you will, for masonry. And uh, that's wonderful that we can, uh, can claim him and, uh, and enjoy uh, his efforts and praise him this evening. Brother Glenn, you certainly have left quite a mark thus far in a, in a relatively short career, and I, I wish you continued success health and longevity so that you continue to go out and, and delve into and dig into other things. Um, Some people would rather I disappear. Well, you know, earlier, when, <laughs> I don't think that's the case. Earlier when you got up, I'm glad you read from that book because I don't know about you, but I'm thinking uh, Glenn Keeker, Einstein. Easy, easy to put those together. Um, so not so far fetched from the truth on that. But, no, Great it's, book. It, I, it's worth, I, it's I, worth I can, reading. I can see it. The only, the only question was at first, I love the fact that here's the, here's the title on the spine, and you're standing here going, it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to watch the props there, my friend. <laughs> and, and you also proved to us that you're a man of many hats. You wear many hats. <laughs> Glenn, humor being aside, congratulations. This is a wonderful evening, it, it, uh, not only for, uh, for you, but, uh, but selfishly for Masons and Masonry in Minnesota because it, uh, it shows that those things that we've tried to teach and impart to others, uh, uh, you're doing, and, uh, and it's contagious. Congratulations, and, uh, and well done. Thank you.